Welcome back to another edition of Research Fantasy Presents our MLB DFS Pitcher Picks for Tuesday, May 16th, 2017. Got a nice slate of games on tap for tonight. Um, a lot of different options we can go with. Let's start things off with Kyle Freeland of the Colorado Rockies at the Minnesota Twins. Now look, I know that on paper this probably doesn't look good. We know that the Twins actually do have some bats that can do some damage against left-handed pitching. But something tells me we're going to see something a little different out of Freeland. He's actually a solid pitcher. The strikeouts haven't come around this year. But the Twins do strike me as a team as a team... Uh, the Twins strike me as a team that can strike out often if they're not hitting the ball. That's something we look for in teams like the Twins, like the Brewers, um, where if they're not making solid contact, that they're probably going to whiff. Uh, Freeland, at his price, I think he's worth a look. He's had two games on FanDuel over 40. His last three have been in the 30s, and... Sometimes you don't need to have that knockout pitcher, especially on a two-pitcher site, if he can put forth a good outing, and then you've got the hitters that can kind of make up for the rest of the missing points. And I think with 14 or 15 games on the slate, you should have no problem doing that whatsoever tonight. So Kyle Freeland, someone I'll be looking at in tournaments. Um, next up, Eduardo Rodriguez. Boston Red Sox at the St. Louis Cardinals, 7,800 on FanDuel. Rodriguez is actually the number two pitcher on today's slate in terms of K-9. Right behind Wade Miley, who I also don't mind. He's someone I considered over uh, Rodriguez as well. Both of these guys, pretty good to start the season. The Cardinals, not the best, but not the worst offense against left-handed pitching. But it's bad enough that I'm willing to take a look at Rodriguez tonight. I think that he should be able to flirt with somewhere around seven to nine strikeouts, which has been about his MO throughout the year. I mean, he's, he's only gotten there twice, but and he's had one outing with only two strikeouts, but he's really not a guy who's going to put together that many poor quality starts. Cardinals, not a team we necessarily get too wild about uh, playing against, but I think the upside that Rodriguez has tonight more than makes up for uh, all of that thought process. In terms of the top pitcher, uh, I'm curious to see how many people don't play Zach Greinke today because as we all know, he's a low strikeout pitcher. I mean, he's only hit double-digit strikeouts twice already this season, so we don't want to look at a guy who's barely getting us any strikeouts. We want to look at the guys who are going to get us 15 to 18 strikeouts a game. In case you haven't caught on to it, there's a lot of jest there. Uh, a lot of people can't wrap their heads around in a short time frame the fact that a pitcher's set might have changed or the fact that baseball is all randomness as it is to begin with. So a guy like Granke, even though he might have been a low strikeout pitcher last year, maybe he's never been the biggest strikeout pitcher, could certainly be doing enough to uh, help himself along. He's not our main pick, but, you know, the Mets are not the best offense either. When they go cold, they go cold. I understand this is a game in Arizona, so it will be pretty highly owned, but um, I just figured I'd put that out there anyway. Uh, I think I'd probably go to you, Darvish, tonight at home against the Phillies. Darvish has been somewhat <laughs> frustrating through the start of the year. Uh, he just actually had this Padre. Or, I'm sorry. Yeah, he just had a great matchup against the Padres that he could not work out. Um, to his discredit, he's incapable. It seems of not allowing runs, even though he has. Well, he only has one game where he has not allowed a run. But we know the Philly. Uh, we know that they can strike out a lot. We know that they are probably getting towards better than they have been, but they're not there yet. I think this is a situation where even though it's in a favorable park, I think Darvish should be able to get the job done. I'm looking for him to have one of his double-digit strikeouts um, efforts tonight. And uh, quite frankly, I think that's the last time I'll ever say that if he doesn't come through, uh, because I feel like I've said that the last three times he's gone out there and he's been really disappointed. But the matchups there, everything makes sense. Everything lines up. 
I'd take him over Keuchel against Miami. Strasburg against Pittsburgh, I think uh, I would leave him alone, and I would consider Granke against the Mets. But other than that, our top three pitching options today, Kyle Freeland, Eduardo Rodriguez, Yu Darvish. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Research and Win, and join us again tomorrow.